Hello there, I'm a member of the training team, and today I'm going to show you how to use the ticket checklist feature. In a practice, there are routine tasks that must be done on a regular basis. If management had to create a ticket in the system every time a routine task had to be done, that would be a big waste of time and a lot of hassle. It would also have to rely on memory management to remember each task that needed to be done. Our answer to that problem is the ticket checklist. Management can use this feature to create a template for routine tasks that can be assigned to staff members. Here's how to create a new checklist. From the System homepage, click on Configuration, then System, and then click right here to create your ticket checklist. From this view, you're going to click Add Ticket Checklist to make a new one. And this list is simply going to be about ordering coffee. Pretty easy stuff. So once you've entered the name, you want to make sure active is selected so the ticket is active. Then just go ahead and click Save. Tickets can be added to the checklist in the following way. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click the Add button. You must enter these required fields to create your ticket. Give a title to the ticket in the title template line. Okay, we need the staff to order some new coffee filters. Then choose an owner role. This is a task for the front office staff. Then set the priority based on the importance of the task or how quickly it needs to be done. This is a normal task. When you are done, click OK. And then you're going to click the Save button. Notice, however, the small red triangles. These simply will come up when a ticket is not saved. Once I save it, they will go away. If you ever see these red triangles, your ticket isn't saved yet. Okay, so I just saved it. Now if you want, you can add a message in the ticket body. If you want to do this, then click the Open Editor button under the Body Template Editor. So this window will pop up. Then type your message where I showed you, and once you're done with the message, then click Save. Now you should know that you can fill out other fields in these tickets if you want. All fields are not required to simply save the ticket. If the fields are always going to be the same, fill out all the template. If it's possible the owner, requester, or provider will be different each time you execute it, then don't fill out the whole thing. Leave them blank and the system will ask you for the necessary information. Continue adding the tickets that you want to be included on the checklist. Let's say we want some sugar packets for our coffee. And again, this is a task for the front office staff. With a normal priority. A start date offset can be added, which will open a ticket on a specific number of days after the execution of the checklist. So let's say I really needed these coffee filters, but maybe I'm pretty good on sugar. So if I put one in here, this order sugar package for the coffee won't show up today. It'll show up tomorrow instead. You can set an offset due date as well. This feature allows you to extend the date that the ticket is due. So I'll extend the due date a little bit on those sugar packets as well. Finally, there is one more step before this ticket will be sent out. Come up here to the top of the screen and click on Execute Checklist. The patient window will come up asking you to enter in any missing information. 
Any field it asks you to fill out other than patient must be completed to execute it. I don't need to enter in patient for this, so I'll click OK. You can see the new tickets you created in the workbench by viewing them like you normally would. Let's go to workbench, tickets. As you can see, my ticket to order new coffee filters is up. And since I put an offset start date, If I do this and go to my inactive tickets, you'll see that one ticket to order the sugar packets will come up tomorrow. Well, that's all there is to this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and click like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now and have a great day.